Welcome to Northeastern's campus tour. I'm Amir. And I'm Drew. And as you can see here, we are six feet apart for safety. Right now we are in the historic Krentzman Quadrangle, home to the Northeastern University sign and some of the most iconic buildings on campus. These buildings include Richards Hall, L Hall, which is actually just a big entryway to Curry, and Dodge Hall, home to the business school, where you will spend 60 grand a year to learn so many goddamn acronyms. And now we take our tour to the Curry Student Center. Your on-campus club might meet here if it wasn't for coronavirus. Some other notable things about Curry is that they have a food court where really the only restaurant of note is Popeyes. And also, a little club called NUTV happens to meet here. And I am here at the library, where you will get your cardio in each day by spending 40 minutes walking around looking for a seat. Eventually, you'll make your way up to the fourth floor, which is the quiet floor, where the only sounds you'll hear are your own thoughts and the person sitting next to you going to town on a pile of Popeyes. Welcome to the ISEC Bridge, one of the newest additions to campus. It connects Snell Library to the ISEC building. It took several million dollars and almost three years to complete, yet it still looks like it's an old World War I ship. And right behind me is the ISEC Research Building, voted most beautiful building in Boston by UFO enthusiasts. And right behind it is Lightview, Northeastern's biggest off-campus, on-campus housing project. You can enjoy the benefits of living on campus for off-campus prices. Didn't see you there, and we're here in Centennial Common. Northeastern's third most invested activity after the business school and the School of Engineering is making this place a level two arboretum, hence the trees. Some famous celebrities also come by to Centennial Common, such as Ben and Jerry. You might know them from ice cream. And that's it. And this is the Northeastern Green Line stop. The Green Line is your slow and clunky portal to the greater Boston area. The last time these tracks were updated, Seinfeld was still on the air. And now we're here at the Freshman Quad. You freshmen might spend a lot of time here, not only because a lot of the freshman dorms are here, but also two of the dining halls are here, Stetson East and Stetson West. Um, Stetson East is a little bit of a trash hole, but Stetson West is nice because it has stir-fry and Chinese food. Next to Stetson West is Outtakes, which you can exchange your dining swipes for little small meals that you can take on the go. You might end up using a lot of your swipes at Outtakes, but I don't recommend you do because you'll end up sp spending about what equates to $17 for a cheeseburger and a soda. With housing in such short supply on Northeastern's campus, you may have to live in one of the least properties, like the classic Midtown Hotel, just a short 1.15 miles away from the nearest spot on campus. The Midtown Hotel is a quick walk away from Hastings Hall, which is a part of the original that Northeastern was founded in. Now on the Roxbury side of campus, we have International Village. International Village is one of the dorms on campus, and it's kind of like its own ecosystem. You have your own dining hall, you have a gym. The only thing you don't have is a kitchen, but you know, you have your dining hall, so that's fine. You can pretty much spend the entire semester here without ever leaving your room. So that's the end of our campus tour. Thank you so much for watching. And we're excited to see you in the fall. Now, if you don't mind us, we're gonna go to our favorite club, UTV, very soon.